for Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, brought to you by BetDSI, and I'm your host, Mitchell Renz. Follow me on Twitter, at MitchellRenz365. If you're new to the show, and you don't know what the heck my Raider Nation rumors are, it is the hottest thing on the internet, especially for Raiders fans. And if you want to get on the show, you need to subscribe, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. I'll say it one more time, youtube.com slash Raiders Report to submit your own Raider Nation rumors. All right. First rumor coming up here on the board is from whiny Raider haters. And are the Raiders going to fire Greg Olson? This one's good, right? Uh, Greg Olson, he's not the best guy, or I don't really like him all that much. I will say this. You want to talk about a terrifying picture? It's Greg Olson's picture. And this one's only two Chucky ads for me. I think people are at least talking about Greg Olson being fired now. I, I really wanted to give this one only one Chucky head because I don't really know if um, the overall turnover is going to happen. However, he's 17 seasons in the NFL, third with the Raiders. I'm just personally not impressed by him. Like, I just don't really think he's that good of an NFL mind. And when you look at the offensive ranks what the Raiders have had, I think that kind of speaks volumes to it, right? So, total yards per game, 23rd. Pass yards per game, 18th. Rush yards per game, 25th. First downs per game, 24th. Points per game, 28th. Like, that's just not getting it done. And... Now, the Raiders have had a lot of turnover on offense. They've had a lot of pieces moving in, a lot of pieces traded. I know. I get it. But at the end of the day, in the NFL, if you're not putting up productive numbers year in and year out, you're out. And that's how Black Monday works. And do I think he's going to get fired this year? No. But at least I think we need to at least be talking about it because if he doesn't produce next year, dude's out the door. So I want to know from you. Should the Raiders fire Greg Olson? Which should type Y for yes or type N for no? Heck, if you want to comment on Facebook, YouTube, yes or no, I'm good with that as well. But should the Raiders fire Greg Olson? That's my first Raider Nation rumor. If you're new to the show, new to Raider Nation rumors, well, you're going to need to understand my Raider rumor scale. Zero Chucky heads, tuck rule, tuck that. This rumor, not going to happen. One Chucky head is a small shred of truth. I like to think 25% chance of happening. Two Chucky heads, people are talking. 50-50. Three Chucky heads is pretty likely. This rumor is 75% chance of happening. Four Chucky heads. Believe it, baby. 100% this rumor is going to happen. And you see that link below? Subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report so you can be on my Raider Nation rumors. My next rumor is from a very special guest. It's actually from God himself. Yes, God himself. God, all I'm asking, though, is you get a different picture because it's far from godly. Tom Cable, the real reason why the offensive line is playing so poorly I'll be honest, I gave this one three Chucky heads, and I think it's pretty likely. I mean, Tom Cable's not a good offensive line coach. Uh, when are we finally going to realize that? Now, you can't put all the blame on a coach. I get that. They've had some injuries. They've had some players move in and out. But the Seattle Seahawks were arguably the worst offensive line in the NFL in 2017. They get rid of Tom Cable. Tom Cable comes over for the Oakland Raiders. And it's just been hot garbage. Like, they've given up the most sacks in the NFL. Carr's been getting hit a ton, and we had one of the best offensive lines to... Arguably not one of the worst. I'm pointing my finger at you, Tom Cable. I'm going to DirecTV. I think you should get fired. But the show isn't just about me. I want to know from you. Should the Raiders fire Tom Cable, which you type 1 for yes or type 2 for no? If you type 1 for yes, be an overachiever. Tell me who would you rather the, hi the Raiders hire. Okay? Overachieve, brownie points. I'm all about it. Should the Raiders fire Tom Cable? 1 for yes, 2 for no. I got a fire hot sale giveaway thanks to uh, BetDSI. And I need you guys to get aboard with it. Chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code LIVE120 for 120% deposit bonus. When you sign up and deposit, make sure you DM Chatsports on Twitter at Chatsports. Get yourself hooked up with one of those beautiful Raiders jackets. Again, it's Chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code LIVE120 for the best promo code on the internet. And then DM for the deal, which is right below at Chatsports on Twitter. Follow us also at Chatsports on Twitter. Shout out to Betty Asai for us up. My next rumor coming in here from Raider Nation. It's from uh, Jamie. And she's got Raiders going to the draft. Or Raiders going to draft Carr's replacement. Now, if you watched my rumor show a little bit earlier, or if you're watching this on YouTube, go back and watch my Raider rumor show. I'm giving this one only one Chucky head, and I just think it's a small shred of truth. I just don't see why the Raiders are going to replace Carr. Like, it was a rough start. Rough start, but it's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. And I think Derek Carr finished the season off pretty solid. Now, yes, he struggled week 17 against the Chiefs, and I understand cutting him is going to save the Raiders $15 million. 
but I just don't think he, you cut him, and I don't think he, you're going to find a better replacement. Now, there's rumors around Dwayne Haskins being a top 10 pick, but I think that would be a real miss for the Raiders because they need a lot of help on the defensive side of the football. So are the Raiders going to, yeah, I don't know, draft cards replacement, one chucky head, and hell, I think it's 1% chance. So if the Raiders are ultimately going to draft a cards replacement, it's probably going to be in round one. And since the Raiders have three picks in the first round, I want you to react. Will the Raiders draft the quarterback in round one? Would you give me a wow face for yes, because I would be absolutely astonished, or a laughing face for no? If you're on YouTube, if you're going to be creative enough to find out how to do the wow face and laughing face, I would appreciate it. Or just comment below, Raiders draft the quarterback in round one, yes or no. Next Raider Nation rumor is from Mighty Warrior, and uh, at least he's got a picture, but I'm not quite sure what it is. It looks actually like a, <laughs> like a Mighty Warrior. Okay. Are the Raiders changing, spell check, their logo? Uh, I'm going to give this one zero chucky heads, tuck rule, tuck that, because I just don't think it's going to happen now. There was a petition that came out, you know, earlier in the offseason where the Raiders were going to have to change their name and their colors because they want a fresh new start in a new city, blah, 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 right? Heck, the guy who even wrote that article said that they were going to change their name to the Las Vegas Sinners. That's the worst name I've ever heard, and I've heard some pretty terrible names. Heck, I hear half the things that you guys call me on YouTube. The Las Vegas Sinners would be such a terrible name, and do I think that they're going to change their logo? No. You can change their first name, Las Vegas Raiders, but if they change their logo, I am not going to be happy, and I'm sure you guys aren't going to like it as well. But the show isn't about me, and I want to know from you. Should the Raiders change their logo? I want you to type K for keep or type C for change. Bonus points. If you're going to type C for change, I want a picture DM to me on Twitter, at MitchellRen365, of what you think the logo could be. Heck, I had some kid DM me the other day who actually makes pretty dope logos. Uh, maybe you can hook me up with some dope new Raiders logos. I'd appreciate it. This next one's coming in from Mark Davis. Yes, Mark Davis, loyal watcher of the Raider Nation rumors. And uh, are the Raiders trading up for Nick Bosa? Again, Nick Bosa is probably going to be the number one overall pick in the NFL draft. But are the Raiders trading up for him? I'm going to give this one two Chucky heads, and people are at least talking about it. Now, I flirted with one Chucky head. I flirted with two Chucky heads. It's a little bit tough for me to wrap my brain around. And with him being the number one overall pick, the Raiders are going to have to give up a lot. Okay? Here's the issue, though. The guy who submitted this rumor, Mark Davis, which I appreciate, the trade that you came up with I wasn't really crazy about, despite Nick Bosa having an unbelievable career. I'm not overly sold on the idea of uh, the trade that you gave up. Like, the Raiders are going to have to give up a whole bunch of picks for Nick Bosa. Now, there's no doubt the Raiders need Nick Bosa. There's no doubt that I think the Raiders' biggest need is an edge rusher who can get after the quarterback. And when you look at his career stats at Ohio State, I mean, there's a reason why he's going to be the number one overall pick, in my opinion. 29 games, 77 tackles, 29 tackles for a loss, 17.5 sacks. Like, and the NFL, guess what? If you can get after the quarterback, you're going to get fat paychecks. And it's a reason why Nick Bosa is really regarded as the clear number one pick in the draft. But here's the trade, though, that my dude Mark Davis gave me, loyal watcher of the Raiders report. He said this is what the Raiders would have to do to get Nick Bosa. The Raiders would swap first picks, so the Cardinals would have the first pick of the Raiders, which is fourth overall. The Raiders would get the number one pick, and the Raiders would only have to give their second round pick. Now, if that's all it takes to get the number one overall pick, do it. Raiders, do it in a flash. That's just not what it's going to take. I think the Raiders would probably have to give up another first round pick. Probably their pick that they have with the Bears and that second round pick. That's a little too steep for me just to get one more player. But maybe the Raiders can trade back. I wouldn't be totally against it. Uh, however, if that's what's on board, take it. But I don't think that's ultimately going to happen. I don't think the Cardinals would uh, be willing to give up that for the first overall pick. Raider Nation, you got to get it on this holiday giveaway. Thanks to our sponsor, BetDSI. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code LIVE120 for 120% deposit. Bonus, it's the best deposit bonus on the internet. Put down $50, you're going to get $60 for free. Put down $100, get $120 for free. And when you sign up and deposit, make sure then you DM Chat Sports on Twitter, at Chat Sports, to get hooked up with one of those jackets, okay? Bet DSI hooked us up with an awesome promo code, Live120. Make sure you use it. Put down $50, get $60 for free, and then DM us for the deal on Twitter, at Chat Sports. My next Raider Nation rumor is from Jose. And are the Raiders going to draft Pharrell or Cleland Farrell at number four overall? And uh, I know, I butchered the name. But this one's pretty interesting, and I'm going to give this one two Chucky heads because there's been a lot of rumors around him, and he's a really talented defensive end, and the dude showed out against Notre Dame. He had an unbelievable game against Notre Dame in the college football playoffs, and 
He could have been a first rounder last year, but I think by him staying, he obviously uh, upgraded his draft stock because now he's going to probably be a potential top five pick. Now, he is the third highest rated defensive end according to our draft expert, Tom Downey. And again, if you don't follow Tom Downey, one, I don't know what you're doing. And if you like NFL draft coverage, go ahead and follow him at What Going Downey because this dude is slam dunk the best guy I've seen in the industry. When you're looking at Furl, he dominated Notre Dame. Like, now, maybe Notre Dame shouldn't have been in the game. And I know uh, producer Don will say Georgia probably should have been in the game or some other team besides Notre Dame because they just didn't show out. But he had a great game. I mean, four tackles. He had a huge sack. I don't know if I can say that on air. A uh, forced fumble and then a fumble recovery. He really dominated this game inside and out. And I think there's a reason why he's going to be a top five pick. But if he's on the board and the Raiders don't trade away their pick, would you want the Raiders to draft him at number four? Because I think it's at least something that we're going to be talking about. And it's a pretty realistic thing. So he's a defensive end. He'd be a great fit for the Raiders because the Raiders need pass rush. So who are the Raiders going to draft at number four overall in the 2019 NFL Draft? I want to know from you, and since that was my last Raider Nation rumor, make sure you guys subscribe, youtube.com slash Raiders Report, so you guys can come on the show, submit your rumors, and I think we're the best community on the internet, especially for the Raiders. There's no doubt about that. My number one place to get Raiders content is youtube.com slash Raiders Report. My number one place to get shirts is Miz and Domain. Go to www.comfortable.af, and guys, I'm telling you, get yourself one of these shirts. When you put it on, you're not going to believe how comfortable they are. They stretch. You can do jumping jacks in them. You can work out in them. You can sleep in them. You're not going to get them wrinkly. And if you sweat like I do, you can't tell because these shirts are, have sweat wicking technology. Like, they have technology in shirts. That's how unbelievable these shirts are. Go to www.comfortable.af and get a Miz and a Main shirt for yourself. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it. Baby, and if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads, news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors, and look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.